thank you for calling. Hello? Yes. Yeah, let me speak with the engineering department, please. I got a bunch of complaints. Who's calling? Come on, chop, chop, senorita. One moment. Jeez. Engineering. So finally, I speak to Satan himself. Yeah, I see. Hello? Yeah. You're the person who's disrupted my tranquil existence here and turned it into a series of near-death experiences. Who is this? I live down the street from your place. From my place? From your giant boombox. My giant bo- Oh, the, the radio station. I can't shake you people. Okay, what's the problem? I put the bread in the toaster, I get the news girl. I put the Metamucil in the microwave, I get the rap song. Well, well, time out. I sit on the pooper, I get the terrible commercial. From the Adirondack Mountains. Time out. Upstate. Time what? Out. Now, now you got a problem receiving the station on uh, something other than a radio. Your radio channel is possessing my house like the poltergeist okay, movie. Okay, all right. One thing at a time. The worst part is I hate your station. This isn't programming. This is engineering. Now, one thing at a time. Uh, we coming in on, like, your TV set. Yes, ever since I jerry-rigged the Playboy channel. Well, so you have cable. Huh? You have cable. Yes, I do. And why don't you call the cable company on that problem? Because I'm not getting the cable company. The cable's supposed to be on the TV. The radio is not. Right. And I'm getting the radio on the TV. That doesn't make any sense. When you disconnect the cable, do you get the radio on the TV? Why would I disconnect the cable? I pay good money for the cable every single month. No, 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 no. When you disconnect the cable from the TV set. Why would I do that? For a second to find out if the radio station goes away. Listen, I'm not going to screw with the TV. It's the only form of entertainment I got unless I want to listen to you people. I mean, your station runs through my house like strained peaches through a baby. Okay, all right. Now you're picking it up on the toaster. I got it on the toaster. Have you tried moving the toaster somewhere else? Why would I move my toaster? My toaster has been in the same place it's been for 15 years. Well, if it's been there for 15 years, then why have you waited 15 years to call me up with this problem? Because I haven't been receiving your station for 15 years, and why are you snapping at me? Sorry. It comes on all the stations. Every station. Every station. Okay, have you taken the TV set to a repair shop? Listen. There's nothing wrong with the TV set. It's your station. No, 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 no. The station is there. There's something wrong with the TV set. Wait a minute. Then there's something wrong with the toaster. There's something wrong with the microwave. What about when I sit on the pooper? I'm trying to help you. Well, you're not. You're snapping at me. Why would there be something wrong with all of my appliances and not your station? Don't you see some sort of similarity here? Do you live right next door to our tower? Well, I live down the street, and I'm not going to tell you where. I don't need you coming to my house like the Gestapo and going through. Well, that would be my next question. What? To come to your house. Why? To check out your problem. But listen, can't you throw a switch or something? And just what do you want me to do? Turn the radio station off? That would be good. I can't do that. Your station is terrible. No one would miss it, I'll tell you that. I can't do that. Why just, not? Oh, you're getting back into programming again. Well, again, I'll call the program director later. Okay, all right, all right. But all right. short you... of shutting down, just throw a switch so you stop coming in my house. Okay, all right, all right. Hey! What? My dog Wiggles has gone wacko from your station. Your dog Wiggles? My dog Wiggles. He hears that Cheryl Crow song, he mounts the umbrella stand till the top of the hour jingle snaps him out of it. I need to know if you took your TV set to a repair shop. (sighs) Ah, boy. We're going round in circles, circles. We're going round in circles, circles. Well, listen, if you can't cooperate with me, there's nothing I can do. Can't you just tell me what to do? Well, I, I've been trying to get to that, but you won't let me. Well, it, what do I do? You keep telling me that I keep snapping at you. Well, tell me what I do. You live too close to the radio station. Oh, so I'm supposed to sell my house? No. What sense does that make? Well, but what? if you want me to help you, I'm going to have to dig a little deeper. Doesn't this ever happen? Yes, this happens. Well, what do you tell the other people? Well, they're a little more explicit in their problems. They well, help me out. How can I be more explicit? than to tell you everything I turn on. Listen, I hang my phone out the window. I can get you people. Listen. I mean, this, you hear it? Yeah, I heard it. I mean, it comes pounding through. That's the toaster. And I said, have you moved the toaster into a different part of the kitchen? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello? Yeah, that was it. Was that the toaster or the phone? That was the microwave. That was the microwave. You also play the same songs over and over and over. You're getting into programming again. Can you play something different? I like Bobby McFerrin. You like Bobby McFerrin? Yep. Who the hell's Bobby McFerrin? He makes the sound. (laughs) 
That, that's fine. Let me ask you. Have this. you moved any of these things into a different part of your house or apartment? No, I have not. Can you try that? But listen, why should I inconvenience myself? Because you are screwing up my life. I am not screwing up your life. Here's the TV. Uh, what's that? What causes that? Some sort of filter is going to have to be put into your TV set. And who's paying for that? Not me. We're here to help you. We're right. not here to finance the problem. Well, your station should pay for it then. Not technically. Oh, jeez. We are supposed to point you in the right direction. Uh, point- but you won't even let me come into your house to take a look at it. All right, listen. I'll meet you in the parking lot at the Wegmans. Okay. How am I going to know it's you? I mean, I need to know what you look like. Hey. I'm not going to stand like an idiot in front of Wegmans. I have a brown van. A brown van. It's the old Z100 prize van I won in a lawsuit when their signal invaded my childhood home in Secaucus. Who is this? Is this Z100? Uh, no, they're not this funny. <laughs> this is a WPLJ in New York. Uh, so, can you fix my problem? Yeah. Move. Ow! We will, we will scam you.